This is a long-awaited video. Although there are many strong and really good robots in BattleBots, but I think we can pick some of the best robots, not just by personal opinion, but we will look at their performance and attributes, like damage, robustness, and agility. Hey everyone, in this video, I will discuss five of the best bot of this show. And without any delay, let's start our list right now. Oh my gosh! Starting with number five, the 2022 champion Tantrum. Yes, the champion takes the fifth spot, as you'll see how this list unfolds. But let's delve into our orange team. First of all, Tantrum is exceptionally fast. Incredibly fast, in fact. It's like a compact metal brick, earning a perfect 100 for agility. However, when it comes to strength, Tantrum scores a 70 out of 100 as we've witnessed, it being susceptible to significant damage after taking major blows. In terms of control, it has the ability to manage opponents to some extent, but isn't particularly strong in ground game, scoring an 80. What lands Tantrum in the fifth spot on our list is its damage output, which needs improvement. Its weapon seems to be the least effective among the robots we'll discuss, so it only garners a maximum of 50 in terms of damage, bringing its overall score to 300. Let's move to number 4, the champs and my second favorite. It's endgame! Yeah, endgame is good, but cannot go above number 4 in the list. Let's start with our first stat that endgame struggles is the agility. Endgame is relatively slow as compared to robots of 2023, and I can give 60 in terms of agility. About that match with Pizza later. But when it comes to damage, the punch of Endgame can be fatal for many robots. Endgame proved to be Golden Nut and Bolt winner due to its strength, ground game, and damage. We can give 90 and 90 in terms of damage and strength and 80 for the ground game and control, giving it total of 320 points in number 4 seed. Let's move to number 3. Not the fan favorite, but really strong robot, Riptide. Yes, Riptide might be new, but we can see it is really a destructive robot. Riptide literally obliterated many robots, including the one never destroyed Black Dragon. And what about this Hypershock shocking destruction? I can give 100 to Riptide for damage. Riptide also proved to be robust in design, really compact. But unluckily, we don't see it fight someone really damaging its side, so I can give 80 to strength. And similar to Endgame, Riptide is not easy to move around, we don't even know if it can flip over in very less ground game, so I can give 80 and 80 to agility and strength, while 70 to the control category, making the total of 330. We are getting to the peak of BattleBot performances, and we have number 2 our Sawblaze, the current reigning champ. Sawblaze is one of the creative design that attacks from top and manage to damage. The most strong domain of Sawblaze is Control, and I can give 100 to Sawblaze for Control, as it was able to control almost everybody, even the uncontrollable huge. The damage is still relatively low but effective, and gives 80 points to Sawblaze for damage. Sawblaze is speedy, can flip, and do all stuff giving it 90 in terms of agility. It can be destroyed and little vulnerable. 80 strength points, giving it total of 350, but who is going to be number 1? Let's have a small pause and breath. Number one is no doubt the Minotaur. Yes, Minotaur is still unlucky with trophies, but this 18 years old veteran takes points in almost all domain. A really destructive, unstoppable machine. It can run fast, dance, and flip over. Really robust, and most of all, the weapon is fatal for almost all robots. We start with agility of Minotaur, and if we look at Daniel driving and the maneuvers done by Minotaur for flipping and dodging, we can save 100 out of 100 for agility and man. Minotaur is a brick. One can say it is perfect in design with no weak spots. It took massive damage from a cobalt destructive weapon and kept going. Even long ago, it braced to dozens of hits from King of Kinetic Energy, nothing fall off. It ran for more than a minute after even batteries have been exploded against the reel finally, in my opinion of last championship, and it kept going. Giving it 100 in strength as well. And we cannot argue about this weapon. It is devastating and capable of doing fatal damage to almost any robot of BattleBots, giving it 100 in damage as well. Where it lacks is the control. There is great horsepower in its drive motor, but they never really cared about ground game. Their two-wheel drive usually struggles in controlling the opponents, and it gives them 70 in terms of control category, making the total 370 score and number one ranking in our list. Man, I really hope this season's Minotaur gets something good. I tried my best to cover everything in the ranking, but if you think something needs correction, I will be waiting for feedback and comments. 
There are some special mentions like Huge's unique design, and really messed up a lot of robots in last season. And I tried but could not include my favorite witch doctor in the list. And three of my other favorites are Copperhead, Hydra, Hypershock that could be included. Last, I try discussing currently active robots, otherwise Bite Force I believe is still worthy to be in list. It's considered one of the best combat robots in the entire world, and left the best record in BattleBots. And we have Tomstone, king of kinetic energy and most entertaining robot, which made past seasons really interesting. Hope to see more of it next season. This is Fahad from Robotube. See you on in next video.